Hi, this is Shannon from middlewaymom.com. I am reviewing Lesson Trek, and I just wanted to walk you through real quick how to set up a student's new school year. In a lot of programs that I've used, it's kind of a long process to get everything set up, and then by the time you're done, you don't really want to put the lessons in because you've already spent so much time on it. One of the great features about Lesson Trek is um, that it's just really fast to get the, the school year set up. So what I'm going to do is I already have my high schooler set up and that's kind of what you see here of her freshman year but I'm going to go ahead and set up her sophomore year. So I'm going to create a new school year, choose from the drop down, and then just easily choose the dates that I want. So we typically start the day after Labor Day and then we will go into Let's see, probably second week, oops, of June. And then I don't want any weekends, and so I'm just going to save that. And then grade report period. Some people do trimester, some people do quarter. I just do semester, it's easiest for me. So adding a grade period here, and it just brings down this really quick um, drop down box, which makes it real easy. And you see how the earlier dates, like August, all of this is grayed out. So it's easy to choose within the date range that you already selected. And then we're going to go until the week before the holiday break for first semester. Let's see here. And coming back after the new year, pretty typical. And again, you see the dates that I already had selected earlier are in black, and then the dates that I didn't have selected are grayed out. Oh, this one changed to, here we go, January 2015. Here we go. So that's already done. All I have to do is put in the subjects that I want. So she will be doing advanced math with Saxon. We'll just leave it this blue color. She's going to do about 180 hours throughout the year. That'll be one credit. Go ahead and save that. I like to do percentages. It just seems pretty um, standard for me. I don't use multipliers. And you just want to make sure to save as you go along. And then you can add your different assignment types. So daily work, and that's going to be graded. So you can put in assignment types that aren't graded, like um, assigned reading, that type of thing. Clearly you're not going to, you got an A today on reading your chapter. Uh, then we have our weekly quizzes and semester test. We'll do exam. Sounds more formal. Since I click save on everything, what I can just do is go back and then I have advanced math there and I can add other subjects. She takes an Arabic class and we'll make that one pink. You know, she only does about 26 hours. I don't give her credit for it. It's just something that we do in our homeschool. So I don't grade it. I just want to make sure that it's on her schedule. It's something that she can check off and she knows she has to schedule for the day. And so I'm not going to add any assignment types. I could add assignment types to a non-graded subject. Um, I just wouldn't have any grading options within the assignment type. So you see here you would just put in the name of the assignment and that's it. But I'm going to cancel out of that. We just put the time that she has her class for the day. And again, everything is saved, so I'm just going to click back. She will have public speaking. Let's choose yellow. This will be a one semester class, so half a credit. Again, we will do percentages without weights. And you know, I can't say that I have looked at her books for this one, so I'm just, for the sake of um, example, we'll put daily work, 
and weekly talk that she will be doing. And everything saved. Go back. We will be doing science. And let's choose Violet. Again, it'll be a full year class. In this one, she's actually going to be taking this elsewhere, so I'm not going to grade it. I just want to be able to put everything in here for her, so that way she she can write down all of her assignments. Um, but I'm not going to be giving her the grade. So in here, um, and we'll see kind of how her teacher lays this out, but again, we'll do daily work, you know, your day-to-day -day drills and, you know, pop quiz, that type of stuff. We'll do projects. Mm. And then, oops, end of term exams. So again, these ones are not graded, but I want to make sure that she puts in ample ample time for a project, you know, that she's going to schedule that for herself throughout the year. However you want to use this, that's really up to you. If I choose done, then it brings me back to this screen here. And then that's really all you have to do. Obviously, you can add, you're probably going to have more than three or four subject areas. Um, but it really does go very fast and then you can just fill it out from there. But I just wanted to cover the setup of the subjects themselves. So you can see it really is very, very fast to set those up. And then you just add in the assignments and that goes just as fast. If you have any questions, you can contact Lesson Trek through their help here. Or of course, you can contact me um, at my website, middlewaymom.com. You can search for Lesson Trek and find my review there. Thanks so much.